Hey guys, welcome to Mama Schmooze Reviews. This is a little haul that I got from a consignment sale that a lot of moms have put together locally and it's a huge warehouse full of tons of stuff and I got out of there with only spending $13. So I got some books and I got a few things for my daughter for her clothes. But I wanted to show you guys this. I got great deals. This is Math for All Seasons by Greg Tang and he also was a creator of the Grapes of Math. It's by Scholastic, and it's really neat because what they do is they have poems for each season, and they include questions about patterns and shapes and counting. Can you count the dots you see? Group them in a special way. Make sums of 10 this rainy day. This one says, how many chicks have hatched today? Try to find a clever way. Quickly count and then subtract. So this is a book that is showing you how to use math in a way without having to memorize formulas. They want you to logically think it through. And I thought it was like a really, really neat book. They go through the 4th of July, they have some stuff for the fall. So they go through all of the seasons and I love it. It's a really cool book. I spent the most on this book, I think it was full price for $2. So I guess they have some other books here that um that they wrote so this is a really neat book that my daughter won't even use yet because she's so young but i got it for 50 cents because it's 50 percent off grades three to five it's a little house in a classroom a guide to using laura ingles wilder uh books and they have like i think eight units in here and it's basically like a unit study using the little house in the big woods and they show you like how to use critical thinking, writing activities, bulletin board ideas, art, math, guidance, comprehension, um, a lot of things. So I thought this, this, this would be like a really cool thing to do with her when she gets a little older. And maybe, pull, maybe I'll pull some stuff from it when she's a little younger. Maybe that we could do if I could have her sit down and listen to this book maybe in a year or two. So I just got this really mainly for myself, but I thought it was a neat deal. This one is a really cool one because my daughter does really great at school. She homeschools, and she wants to school, and she always asks to do it. I know she's super young, but this is what, um, it's basically a child-led type of uh, schooling that I do. This one is the Follow the Directions and Learn book, and I really like it. As I opened it up, it's a little different than the ones from the Dollar Tree. I don't know how old this book is, but... It's really neat because it asks questions like what's for dessert, draw a line connecting the numbers 1 through 10, draw a line from the circle to Lisa's hand and color it red. Like they ask you like to look at the picture to draw lines to match the foods. So some of them are similar to some of the ones at the Dollar Tree, but I like how they have like look and they have a little picture of look. Look at each picture and guess how many, write the number. And then they ask you like what's your favorite colors? color your favorite color then they give you little activities so this one is really neat because it's more than just a Dollar Tree like pre-k book they give you a lot of activities along with it so you could probably use this for a good month and do like activities for it so if you don't have curriculum it's by Scholastic it's really cool this is 50 cents how to bake an American pie and I thought it was how to bake an apple pie I've seen a lot of people on YouTube read how to bake an apple pie and they bake an apple pie and they do a whole unit study on it. I think um, my little smarty pants, she was reading this to her kids and they loved it. But I think I got the wrong book. I don't even know if this is the same um, author. But I ended up with it, so it's 50 cents. So hopefully it's a good book. I think it might be like a part of the series, so I'm excited to read that. Then I got Look, Listen, and Speak, Keeping Healthy. This one comes with a CD inside. It comes with color cards. And I know my daughter's going to love it because she loves Doc McStuffins. This is a little over her head, but I was thinking I could play some games with her and maybe go over, like, they have some songs and chants and some cutting and pasting activities. She loves cutting and pasting. So this will be great for her. And they show you a lot of, like, body parts, the inside of your body. So I thought she would love this. And I can make photocopies of this and maybe use it now. And then when she gets older, she could just use this book. But it's for grades one through three. So 
in a few years. And this one is called Guess Me Poems and Puzzles Alphabet. It's for grades kindergarten through first. I love it. It's a little card that you can fold. It gives a little riddle and they ask you what you are. So basically I'm a fruit, I'm round and red, and you bite me. Um, who am I? So they have a puzzle. I'll show you right here. For instance, like this one is a little card right here. What begins with B? You put all the B words and there's like a little bunny as you can see. They'll color it and they'll put the puzzle together. But before you do the puzzle, you read the little riddle. And um, I thought that was so cute. So every letter of the alphabet has a little riddle for them to solve and then they can color it and put the puzzle together. So it's a really neat way to share with them po poems and puzzles and then they have to find things out and put the puzzle together. So that one was neat. Last but not least, I got this for my daughter and for my son. He's two, so eventually he'll use it. It's by Flash Kids Preschool Activities Letters. And the reason why I liked it so much is because the illustration is beautiful. And usually these books are like six bucks or so. I think that's how much it was. They put it for $2 and I got it. 50% off for a dollar. See, it's really, really neat. And then they can trace their fingers with it. I thought this would be a good book to either use for a sheet protector or they could just, like, we could read it together and trace together. Maybe with my little two-year-old on my lap, we could trace things together. He loves doing that. So I thought this was really cute. And so, yeah, I got this for a dollar. And there's coloring and cutting and pasting, mazes, numbers, and tracing by this company if you're interested in it. It's by Flash Kids. So that's it, you guys. I got all of these things for under $5, and I got a really, really, really great deal, I felt. So if you guys have any questions about any of these things, I know this one's definitely probably a favorite to a lot of moms because we love this book so much. So if you have any questions, please give me a question or comment below, and please subscribe.